Peppa's Magical Unicorn One rainy day, Peppa invited Susie Sheep to her house to play. Hello, Susie, cried Pippa when she arrived. Let's play with my horse. Peppa introduced Susie to her toy horse. Susie, meet Horsey Twinkle Toes. Horsey Twinkle Toes, meet Susie. It's very nice to meet you, Miss Twinkle Toes, said Susie politely. Peppa and Susie galloped off to Peppa's bedroom together. Giddy up, Horsey, shouted Peppa, racing around her room on Horsey Twinkle Toes, while Susie watched. Thud, thud. Daddy Pig heard all the noise and came upstairs to see what was going on. We're playing horses, cried Peppa. I see, said Daddy Pig, seeing Susie sitting quietly. Do you think perhaps it's Susie's turn, Peppa? asked Daddy Pig. Yes, replied Peppa. Come on, Susie, you can ride horsey twinkle toes now. I don't want to play horses, sighed Susie. I want to play unicorns. Peppa thought for a moment. Well, Horsey Twinkletoes is a magic horse, she said. She can be a unicorn whenever she feels like it. Oh, said Susie. OK. Susie pranced around the room on Horsey Twinkletoes. Let's brush her beautiful tail, said Peppa. But unicorns have rainbow tails, said Susie. Oh, said Peppa. That's OK. We can put colour ribbons in it. What a good idea, said Daddy Pig. You do that while I get you both a snack. Now we can fly to the sky on our unicorn, cheered Peppa. But a unicorn has a horn to hold when you fly, said Susie. Horsey Twinkletoes doesn't have a horn. Oh, said Peppa. That's OK. She flies so gently you don't even have to hold on. Peppa and Susie took it in turns to fly around the room. I wish Horsey Twinkletoes was a real unicorn, said Susie. And I wish she was really, really, really sparkly, added Peppa. I think Horsey Twinkletoes is tired, said Daddy Pig. Why don't you build her a den to sleep in? Yay, cheered Peppa and Susie. While Peppa and Susie were busy building a den in the living room, Daddy Pig gathered some secret supplies for later. Wow, said Daddy Pig when Peppa and Susie had finished. What a fantastic den. Can we sleep in it tonight, Daddy? asked Peppa. Please. Of course, said Daddy Pig. If Mummy Sheep says it's OK, you can have a sleepover in the den. Hooray, cheered Peppa and Susie. After dinner, Peppa and Susie got ready for their sleepover. Please, can you read us a bedtime story all about unicorns, Daddy? asked Peppa. Of course, Daddy Pig replied. When the story was finished, Peppa and Susie snuggled up in their cosy den and fell fast asleep. While Peppa and Susie slept, Daddy Pig picked up horsey twinkle toes tiptoed outside and quietly set to work painting and painting some more, then sticking and sticking some more. And then Daddy Pig added the final touch, a horn. Daddy Pig sneaked back to the den to return horsey twinkle toes. Ta-da, he whispered. Then he went upstairs and was about to go to sleep when he heard. Wow! Peppa and Susie gasped loudly. They had woken up to find that Horsey Twinkletoes had transformed into a magical unicorn. I told you Horsey Twinkletoes was magic, said Peppa. She's perfect, added Susie. The next morning, Peppa, Susie, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig all sat down for breakfast. Peppa told her family what had happened. And when we woke up, Horsey Twinkletoes had turned into a real unicorn, gasped Peppa. It's magic. Mmm, said Daddy Pig sleepily. How wonderful, said Mummy Pig. It sounds like you and Susie had the perfect sleepover. 
Yes, said Peppa. But why does Daddy have paint all over his face? Daddy Pig couldn't answer. He had fallen asleep at the table. <coughs> After breakfast, Peppa and Susie headed off on a magical adventure with their new unicorn. I love your magical unicorn, cheered Susie. Me too, said Peppa. Everyone loves magical unicorns, especially Daddy. It's magic!